if you want to create a new lab, you can create directly from here. So I'm going to create a new lab. I'm giving the first class. Hello, Alto, and just save it. So this is like a new EVNG, new window open. And now here you have to add the node. So just start adding the nodes. I will add the Palo Alto first. So this is my Palo Alto. I just save it. So here is my Palo Alto. Another thing what I'm going to do, I will add a Windows machine here. So this will be used as a GUI. And I will connect it to console. So that will come later on. Another I'm going to use as a VPC. The VPCs are like a type of computer, but they don't have like a GUI very good. They just, uh, we will play everything around on the CMD. So now the connectivity, how we connect it, just uh, drag and drop, right? Once you browse mouse over there, you have this option plug, drop it. Now it's give an option that on which ports you want to connect it. So as this is my, like uh, this Windows machine, I will be using for configuring the management port. So on the Windows, I will use uh, E0, that is fine. But for the Palo Alto, I will choose for management because I'm going to configure this uh, Palo Alto using this machine. So this will be connected to the management. So I'm going putting it down here. And uh, let me add one more VPC where I will be initiating the traffic. So that one side, left hand side, you can treat it as an internal network. And another end, you can treat it as an external network. So this, and uh, for the bifurcation, you can like uh, add shapes. Let me... So it just depends on your choice, whatever you want to get. I have just given these just to understand you because you do not get confused. What are these, right? So that's it. So now my lab is set up. Meanwhile, I will be just doing this part, but uh, what, because the starting of the Palo Alto firewall takes time. So I will just start this firewall. It will be taking time to do that. Meanwhile, meanwhile, I will just do the labeling. So once you start it, that's how the console it shows. Now the our firewall is booting up. It is like nothing configured on this firewall. So once it comes up, then we will be configuring the management interface first. And then we will able to access GUI. By directly, it's like not possible to configure. So first we will configure the management interface. Then it will be accessible via this VPC. No, not sorry, VPC. Management is connected to this Windows. So there we will be configuring. So this is also, I'm starting. This is our Windows machine. It will be like normal your Windows 7 machine. So if I open it, you will see that how it is booting up. So this is an starting windows. So simple, this is like windows seven image that I have installed inside my EVNG. So my firewall is also booting up. It, so this, uh, both of them takes time. So meanwhile, I can do the labeling part. So I think, let me check my firewall. Okay, so firewall is ready. Windows machine is also ready. So I will restart it later. And uh, labeling is also done. Almost thing, everything is ready. So the first thing, uh, let us configure this uh, interface of this Palo Alto firewall. So let me log in it first. So by default, the username and password for this uh, and here we go uh, now we are able to reach our uh, firewall now we are able to ping it so if i am able to ping it i will open it on the gui here i will close this and now my job is to give https typhoon 192.168.1.1 hit enter So my connection is not private, not a problem. I will proceed with unsafe. My screen is visible uh, clearly or let me change the resolution. I think it will be.
that's it. Let me close this window. And now, if you see that at the top, we are having the different tabs and our focus is to configure the network interfaces. So I will go to the network. And on this network, we are having the different interfaces, Ethernet 1 slash 1, 1 slash 2, 1 slash 3, and up to 